how humanity gave this an animal the middle finger. Pigeons, the rats of the sky. Oh my god, what is that? Literally, what is that? Oh my god, what is that? What is that? Why? Why is he built like this? What are the, his legs? What are? Why does he have feathers here? What is this? What? Does he have an entire frog up there? He's flexing his chest? I don't know. You definitely know who- Did we just... Saw S Sudoku? Did we just encounter Sudoku? Oh wait, no, they're bullying him! Wait, they're bullying him! It's not Sudoku, it's pure blood and murder! You definitely know who this is and why he was an icon, but did you know there were at least two creatures that Khaki Animal Jesus was afraid of? One, hippos. Mm, I no mean, fair. Explanation needed, yeah, but also yeah, yeah. Parrots. What? Yeah, the same Steve Irwin that cuddled crocodiles, got a hickey from a python on live TV and apologized to the python and did this was the same man that experienced legitimate fear in the face of an overgrown parakeet. And the crazy huh. part is, that has nothing to do with this video. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> Steve Irwin was an icon of my country. Steve Irwin was an icon of a time, that man. That to make my biggest fear sound less ridiculous. Because out of all the animals in the world, I've historically only been afraid of one. I've held eight-foot pythons when I was six. I've had no problems Damn. with spiders in my house. <laughs> I've always had a soft spot for sharks. Yet the one animal that Chalks could stop me my tra you, Matter of fact, just guess. What do y'all think I'm about to say? I mean... We saw the video title! We saw the thumbnail! Pigeons? Why do you be scared of pigeons? Here's an ad while you grapple with that. Pigeons. It's always been Why? Pigeons. I could never fully Why'd explain you be scared it, of them? as long as I can remember, these bum doves put hey, the hey, fear hey. of Dante's Inferno in every fiber of my vessel. There's two stories that sum up my feelings towards oh my God. pigeons. As a kid, I could vaguely remember I crossing the street cute. with my dad when one of the spawns of avian antichrist popped out from under the car like a Five Nights at Freddy's jump scare. And from the way my dad likes to tell this story, apparently I recoiled so bad that I jumped back and nearly got turned into a speed bump by a passing van. There is an alternate universe where my irrational fear of pigeons cost my folks a dependence and had me heaven sent. So this is really more exposure therapy than an actual video in the first- <laughs> Damn. I live with Roach just because- I... Are you Asman? <laughs> First step is understanding. There are a lot more types of pigeons than my subconscious could ever curse me with. There's over 350 pallets of pigeons populating the planet. You got the Victoria crowned pigeon, the biggest hey, wait, bird what? on the roster whose That's pretty. named after royalty. Then there's Whoa. the Nicobar, the closest thing to a present day dodo and definitely the hypebeast flexor of the f Bro, the wings are so pretty. What the hell? So pretty. Family. Can't forget the Karuru, the New Zealand variant famous for being a crippling alcoholic. As in they'll get so hammered off fermented fruit that they legit forget how to fly. <laughs> you probably heard the phrase turtle dub, especially this time of year. Well, today I found out that I apparently had no clue what they look like or that they originated from the Middle East. A hop skip in an eight hour flight to the Philippines and you'll find a Luzon bleeding heart pigeon named oh, for obvious reasons. Yeah. You got the silvery wood, the maroon pigeon, and the purple winged dove, all of which are in danger of being discontinued. Holy. And then you got the pigeons humans bred like dogs, which would easily make this the. Yeah. That. <laughs> This, this is human bread, like 100%, like, bro, this is literally the pug. This is the pug of, a uh, man, this is just a pug, bro. Pug of poultry. There it's like it a is. a pigeon police sketch done by a kindergartner on Adderall with no prior knowledge of anything bird. There's hundreds of breeds of pigeons and the English powder might just be- You know what's crazy to me? I've actually seen a pigeon like this before. Like, not 100% built like this, but like, with the chest like this. I've seen- I see pigeons like either with those long legs without the feathery feet, with those long legs, or with like the uh, really buff chest. But not both combined, Prior man. Prior knowledge of anything bird. There's hundreds of breeds of pigeons, and the English powder might just be the nastiest work of all. Although the English carrier might what just the? be. Bro, he's got a tumor on his beak. What the heck? Right around his eye. Oh my god. Oh, second, because honestly, what in the. F <laughs> What, what, what even is this? What was the goal if this was the outcome? 
All those Pigeon remixes go back to the OG, the Rock Dove, aka the main is... mugshot that comes up when you Google Pigeon. And yeah. this is where I stopped hating and started learning. For example, the Rock Dove was originally only found here. Well, well actually here, in the dark red. That's right, any place okay. outside this red is a place people uber the scourge of my soul. That includes what might as well be the pigeon <laughs> capital of the world, New York City. So of course- We've got so many pigeons here too, man. We got so many of them here too. I just had to grow Florida up Manix pigeon, oh my god. Apparently, pigeons first touched American- My hometown has no pigeons? No idea why the nearby city 20 kilometers away has a lot of pigeons? I don't know why they hate my city. <laughs> Wait, they just avoid the place, what the heck? ...soil in the early 1600s via Europeans. That means the Flying City Merchant is more natural to the Sahara Desert than to the streets of Manhattan. Which brings Damn. me to half the reason I'm making this video. What's the one thing you spend way too much time thinking about? I think all the time about how we domesticated pigeons and then we decided we don't want to use them anymore for like messages. So they are completely reliant We just threw them out. They, have you ever seen like a nest of a pigeon? No, and I didn't know we domesticated them either. Yeah, they're like nests or like three twigs and like the egg is just on the cold <gasps> Baby, ground. So no! <laughs> they're so stupid! Oh no! No! <laughs> My heart! Because they don't know how to build a nest because we messed them up? Yeah. I did not know how to take this revelation, and after looking into it, she's half right. Pigeon nest is a meme as old as time. This is really no. something only an animal with no access to birth control could come up with. It's heavy on the f them kids, but before they're even born. <laughs> At this point, it's like they're trying so hard not to try that it would literally take less effort to try. The thing is, they weren't named Rock Dove for nothing. In the wild, they'd normally raise their aesthetically challenged children on cliff ledges or crevices, which ended up being not that far off from where they shack up now. And as long as the ground's flat and the egg doesn't roll away to become a late termination and an early onset omelet, this is really all they need. Minimalism for the win. But the other point she made about us pretty much abandoning them, turns out it's pretty accurate. Which actually brings me to my second story. So I had spent the day walking around New York with my mom and was understandably starving. So hungry mm -hmm. that we decided mm -hmm. to get food from a street side meat vendor. The cardinal okay. sin of the city, but we didn't know any better. The food was immediately off, but let's be honest, not <sighs> enough for me to stop. I remember the meat tasting Don't tell gamey me. and f Don't tell me he was eating pigeon meat. Oh no. Don't- No. No way. Right? No way. No. Fatty and had this really strong aftertaste that I'd never experienced before. It wasn't until I was two thirds done that I noticed a small cage halfway tucked under the stand. No! A small cage with maybe a dozen pigeons swarming around. Uh, it no! Was at this moment I realized I was sold a chicken leg lie. Your boy just ate some pigeon wings. Now that story is almost completely made up, but PayPal just- He, he's had me twice this video. He's had me twice. The idea of getting calories from a concrete chicken probably disgusted most of y'all. The thing is, yeah. pigeons are regularly eaten by people in a lot of places. Squab is a name for an immature prepubescent domestic pigeon, and it's considered a delicacy depending on where you're- Okay, but there's a difference between pigeon living on the street and pigeons being bred to be consumed. There's a difference! Understanding, which shouldn't even really be a surprise because one thing about pigeons, they get violated by the entire food chain. Oh my I've seen with my eyes pigeons get absolutely bodied by a street savvy Stuart Little. They somehow manage to find ways to take L's from turtles. In no! fact, there's a catfish that specializes in murky. I managed to find ways to take L's from turtles. Pigeons can have a lot of parasites, you definitely don't want to try street pigeons. That's what I mean! That's why they're the rats of the, the, the sky, you know? Same for like, rats that just love in sewers, same deal. I'm getting a pigeon to cook right now. In fact, there's a catfish that specializes in murky an animal that literally got gift wrapped the ability to fly. And to add insult to injury, the fish is virtually blind. How do you fumble that bad? 
Pretty wow. much the entire cast of Over the Hedge plays population control for pigeons. Oh my and lord. we've all seen how pelicans conduct themselves in pigeon presence. And humans I, uh, were no different. Uh, Food was one of the many reasons. <laughs> he looks... <laughs> Bro, he's so unaware. <laughs> Bro, he's so unaware. <laughs> he's so unaware. <laughs> he's just... He thought, oh yeah, nice bed. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> Hey, Lucky Fork, what's up? Since pigeons were added to the American <laughs> census, another reason was to employ them as messengers before iPhone became a thing. But another reason yeah. was for pets. There was a time where owning a pack of pigeons wasn't just normal, it was a sign of status. If you had pigeons on your- I mean, uh, there were the white doves that were signaling peace and shit that they would like let out at like celebrate- celebratory fucking festivals and shit, right? And like at weddings where they just would like let white doves fly into the sky, you know? That happened. They were useful to have before modern communication. Yeah! But now we just don't really need them anymore. <laughs> food is food. I eat everything that is delicious. Maybe that's why I don't have food. <laughs> Your property, it meant you were probably doing well in life. Akbar the Great of the Mughal Empire had not one, but 2,000 pigeons as, as, as well. That is a comma. Make that 20,000 pet pigeons. But in oh, the time Jesus. since, hoarding pigeons went from a flex to something that guarantees you dirty looks on the subway. And that's thanks to one of the most egregious gaslight campaigns you've ever seen. In June 1966, New York Parks uh -huh. Commissioner Thomas Hoving verbally eviscerated pigeons, blaming them what? for spreading filth and disease, and used a term you've definitely heard of, Rats with wings. And oh, just there like it is. that, the pigeon's reputation went straight to hell. No return trip. A couple things that are interesting, though. <laughs> what are we? <laughs> what are we? Like that, the pigeon's reputation went straight to hell. No return Whee! trip. <laughs> what was the most random thing that you said out of nowhere for no reason at all? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Wings. And just like that, the pigeon's reputation went straight to hell. No return trip. Say a lot Other of out of context random though. things. In the same article, Mr. Hoving also blamed the homeless and homosexuals for bringing property value down. He also became <laughs> commissioner January 16th, 1966, and resigned March 15th of the next year. His actual hey, term was just over a year, but the slander he tagged the Metro Tweety with was permanent. Then Woody Allen dogpiled on them, and humanity has hated pigeons ever since. It's kind of like how Mark Twain roasted Coyote so flagrantly, not only did it single-handedly earn them smoke from the public, it was directly responsible for the luckless Looney Tune. That's not a throwaway Damn. joke either. Look up what Wiley Coyote was based on. It's actually wild. But thanks to these three words, the bird that was more common in royalty than marrying your cousin, got typecast as a flying version <laughs> of the... your cousin <laughs> nice birds the bird that was more common in royalty than marrying your cousin got typecast as a flying version of the animal whose hygiene allegedly turned half the population into a hashtag i gotta say allegedly because new evidence suggests that rats weren't even responsible for the plague to begin with me not you Damn. pigeons got lied on too because they're nowhere near the disease risk we label them as and i legitimately oh. didn't know that before researching they can oh, okay. carry disease, but because of their immune system, it's actually rare for them to transmit them to people. I oh! I couldn't believe it either. It also turns out the glorified gutter Tweety is actually resistant to bird flu. Now they still can catch you. Wait, snow. what? Pigeons are resistant to bird flu? And usually the problems come from their lesser half. When pigeons drop deuces in one spot, it can dry up uh. and eventually turn into dust. Breathe enough of that doo doo dust, and you can end up with a nasty infection known as bird handler's lung. But even then, Ooh. it takes a lot. Like on some you clean bird shit as a hobby for you to be exposed enough to be down bad. So yeah, pigeons carry diseases, but no more than any other animal. I mean, by that logic, Fair. humans carry disease, but we're still out here raw dogging handshakes. Dogs can carry disease, yet I still see people tongue kissing them. Deer are walking air. True, actually. Rats didn't stop the plague. That's basic history. They spread the plague. It was ticks and lies that, uh, the rats that caused the plague. Oh, they were complicit. I mean, they were spreading it, right? So they, of course it didn't start it in that case, but they 
definitely out of two. Airbnbs for ticks peddling Lyme disease, and cats done infected half the people watching this. But Yet pigeons are the uh, ones that got tattooed as rodents with frequent fire miles. The, uh, it was ticks that lies that bit the rats and that caused the plague then. Ah. People watching this. Yet pigeons are the ones that got tattooed as rodents with frequent fire miles. Between 1941 and 2003, there have been 176 documented cases of pigeons passing off disease to a human. And again, it'd virtually take you being buddy from that- 100 and what? 176? But that's- In 60 years? That's almost nothing! Cases of pigeons passing what the off fuck? To a human. And again, it'd virtually take you being buddy from that one Hey Arnold episode. You know what else I found out? Pigeons don't really spill sugar honey iced tea while flying. They 100% can, but since that could involve hitting their own feet, they prefer to do it on a perch. So it turns out the dirtiest thing about pigeons is the way we've done them. Which actually sucks, wow. because once I started to work past my pigeon prejudice, I realized, I can't believe I'm about to say this, pigeons are low-key broken, like they're mad talented for no reason. <laughs> they're like, cute! For example, they're one I of do the think they're cute. with wings in the world. Pigeons can fly at averages of 60 miles per hour, but can peak what? out at nearly 100. There have even been stories of pigeons triggering speed cameras in streets. We don't what? know it because one of their biggest ops also happens to be the fastest <gasps> thing alive. Which is how they can get packed up by a 200 mile per hour falcon punch. But pigeons still have the juice to dodge a paragon and live to talk about it. Put it this way, the fastest thing on earth hunts pigeons, and even that's not a total mismatch. And a good reason is another superpower we don't talk about. Their eyes. The only real self-defense mm -hmm. pigeons practice is the power of foresight. So if they don't see danger coming, or worse, don't recognize it, they just get bullied. But pigeons have 340 degree vision and can even see wavelengths of light invisible to us. They're what? so busted that the US Navy once upon a time. Wavelengths of light? Pigeons are broken. Try using the chicken of the city to conduct search and rescue missions out in the ocean. Basically, they trained a couple pigeons to recognize random. But why are they so dumb? Literally, pigeons. though. They. Honestly, they remind me of my uh, old cat. Like, they remind me of my cat that ran away. They remind me of Johnny. Johnny had a hella broken body. Like, he was hella buff and hella physique. And really, a really, really, really big cat. But he was such a dumb, scaredy cat. He had hella fucking hunting instincts. But goddamn, was he a baby. <laughs> like, literally... A fucking zero brain, 100 muscle. Like, holy shit. A gentle giant, literally. Um, so, kind of reminds me of them. Not that directly on birds. Many birds see a lot of colors. Oh, that sounds like my little sister, not gonna lie. Your little sister? Small brain, big buff? What the fuck? <laughs> Johnny was broly jacket, then? <laughs> yes. Press, or more like peck on a switch on site. In test runs, the pigeons notice the target 90% of the time, completely outclassing the human rescue crew who just barely pulled off 40%. There is the fact that the pigeons could remain vigilant for hours without falling off. Unfortunately, the experiment was cut short due to budget cuts and every pigeon involved getting killed during a crash landing. But oh, even man. this experiment showcased another pigeon flex. They're way smarter than they get credit for. Wait, they probably what? would if they could talk like parrots or ravens. But even with a brain in the weight class- Who's a good boy? Ravens. But even with a oh brain in the weight class of a walnut, pigeons can still surprise us. Trained pigeons can actually pass the mirror test, the same one most dogs and cats fail. In 1995, a study found that pigeons could be taught to tell the difference between a Picasso painting and Monet. I'm not gonna lie to you, I myself can't do that. To a I mean, if they see more colors than us, I guess that makes sense, you know? A similar beat, pigeons could be trained to tell apart malignant breast tumors from the benign. And yeah, yeah, we're still talking about a bird. What? A German study in 1990 found that the avian overachievers could successfully memorize 725 different black and white patterns and correctly identify the 100 patterns associated with a reward. Pigeons also have an ability to count that rivals primates. Bro, tell me why folks found out that the Bane of Broadway can read. So what scientists did, right? What? They taught these pigeons a bunch of words and would either show a real word on screen or a misspelt one to go with a star. This bird can read. Chat, pigeons can read. Pigeons can read. The 
was pitching his reading and acting upon it. What? They literally just need an education. Literally! What? Sherlock, why can't you read? Why can't you read, Sherlock? Yeah, all you want is food. Is that a hiss? Did you just hiss at me? He still looks so sleepy. Learn to read. Make me some money, bitch. If it was an actual word like, for example, dog, okay. they had to peck at okay, the word. If it was up, some bitch. nonsense like ugged, the rules oh. were to peck at the Don't star. Each other. Get it right and they'd win food. Tell me why the feathery assault on your windshield actually did better than the baboons that took the same test. It was at this moment I went wow. from highly impressed to he He's doing... Not he's. Uh, these pigeons are smarter than your average Gen Alpha kid now, man. These pigeons, chat. Chat, these pigeons can read compared to your average Gen Alpha kid, man. With... Oh my god, pigeons are smarter than Gen Alpha. Loki concerned with how smart pigeons are. There's like 5 million of them in NYC. We're cooked if they turn on us. Here's yeah. a couple other pigeon facts I picked up. That thing they'll do where they'll fly around in a circle as a synchronized group, that yeah. has a name, and it's called murmuration. Oh. The best theory for why they do this is as a predator response, because their honest-to-god best defense is just making it harder to be singled out. That weird, crusty-looking hmm. bump on their beaks is called the operculum, and it's really only there to cover the nostrils. And like a middle-aged hairline, it slowly starts to disappear as they get older. Pigeons are also oh. monogamous and one of the minority of birds that take till death seriously. That's probably why you've Aww. never seen a baby pigeon. Parents supervise them virtually 24-7 until they look like the urbanite we're used to. Pigeons are as loyal as birds get. So it's no surprise they've had success in the military. Hold up. <laughs> wait, 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 military? <laughs> Chad, you ever seen a baby pigeon? Let me find a picture. Baby, a pigeon. Let me find a baby pigeon before we move on. They're so cute. Yeah, they're, they're a little bit derpy. Look at this little derp, man. Look at it. This stupid little derpy. So ugly. <laughs> this is Cher Ami. One of the many pigeons used by the US during World War One. And in 1918, over 500 men got pinned behind enemy lines with no food, water, or ammunition. Their only option was releasing carrier pigeons begging for support, but the surrounding Germans peeped game and started lighting up any pigeon that tried. No. And that included Sheikh Ami, who got shot out of the air, but like a goddamn phoenix managed to get back up. Against oh my every God. force of nature, the plucky pigeon made it back to base. Traveling a smooth 25 miles in 25 Show minutes, delivered me. the message that would end up saving the remaining 194 men. And he did it half what a hero. with a bullet wound and a leg hanging on by a literal thread. The bird whose name means my dear friend past tense later the next year, but would be forever immortalized in the Smithsonian as the MVP of the 77th Infantry. G.I. Joe was what a, a hero. pigeon who came in clutch when he delivered a message calling off an airstrike of a village that the British had already regained control of from the Germans. If G.I. Joe didn't basically score at the buzzer, at least 1,000 soldiers would have been turned into ashes. Oh my and lord. And then there was William of Orange, who traveled 250 miles in just over four hours to request air support after the radio sets had failed. Turned out he was the air support and William's carry job saved hey! about 2,000 men. He would be one of the 32 pigeons to earn the Dickin Award. Which was basically like a finals MVP Dickin? but for animals. Somehow pigeons went from war heroes to people actively trying to wipe them out. We really stay doing our troops wrong. But I think it's safe to say, I we was really not, slandered I was pigeons, not man. with their game. You won't catch me moving like this guy, but I'll definitely respect them. Yeah! Just from a reasonable distance. And that's the most <laughs> character development you're gonna get. Drink water, hug your loved, uh, tell a pigeon you uh, appreciate them, uh, and I'ma see y'all in the aw. next one. Oh. oh, it sounds so cute. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that's adorable. What the hell? That is actually so adorable.
Tell on Putin so I don't have something against them while Putin's are bad most of the time. Eh. Eh. But damn, actually Putin's are OP. I like this, I like this. Also, uh, thank you YouTube commenter for pointing the Pitchin video out. That's literally why we watched it. Because someone in the YouTube comments pointed out he has a video about Pitchins. I literally read it be uh, before coming live. <laughs> That's why we watched it. So thank you YouTube. But usually put uh, put videos in put videos in the Discord for recommendations. What animal do you think is just straight up ugly? <laughs> the blobfish. Blobfish. Is it called the blobfish? Yeah, this bitch. <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> this bitch right here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that will be all. Thanks, YouTube. Thanks for watching.